okay now come one of the interesting elements of our 8-bit computer is controller sequence you can see there are six inputs 13 outputs the inputs are clock which is coming from directly to the clock reset when reset is one the uh, memory will be lost and when reset is zero it will work not normally and there are four inputs c3 to c0 and they are directly coming from the upper four level of the instruction register and this upper four level of the instruction register is are nothing but our opcode for different instruction set you can see we have five instructions lda load accumulator the opcode is 0000, 000 add which is 0001 subtract which is 0010 output 0011 halt 1111 so here <coughs> we have connected this and there, there are 13 output halt and when halt is 0 the clock will stop all the program will be stopped and there are 12 instruction this will open or close any of these elements so let's take a look on the controller sequence before take a look on the controller sequence let me tell you in our manual the t states were six but i was able to implement the project to reduce the state i make the 8 bit computer with six states five states and i was also able to reduce another state so our final project is with t4 states so first let me tell you about six teachers you can see there are six output uh, at three and six and get and first let me tell you this this uh, in our controller sequence there is a counter which can count till seven so <coughs> there are three flip-flop uh, we connected with clock g3 jk flip-flop three outputs reset and let me tell you uh, as the as our reset is not so we have can pass it through a not get and you can see the clock is negative s triggered so in our in our controller sequence the counter is negative s triggered so the three output is coming this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 0 to 5 there are six states and when the counter will uh, give the output 6, I mean 1, 1, 0, the it will automatically reset. And there is a reset button, you can reset it manually, clock button. <coughs> and these are for the off codes C3, C2, C1, C0. LDA add, subtract, out, halt. And our halt command is coming from directly to the halt, CO. Our CO instruction is coming. Uh, in the first two states so we have connected it in the first two states if you want to see t1 states it's connected in t1 states mi mi will be activated in t1 for phase cycle for load it will be available on t4 states add t4 subtract t4 so mi4 this is a t4 states add T4 uh, so, and uh, this is LDA T4 this is add T4 this is sub T4 and this T4 has been sorted with them and this has been or so MI is our output and C counter and a bell will be activated on two num uh, T2 states increment state <coughs> so you can see we have connected with, with the T2 state T1 T2 then come RO RO will be activated on uh, t states 3 so t states 3 has been odd lda will be activated on t4 states uh, t4 uh, add t4 sub t4 ii is also connected in t4 st uh, t3 states so we have connected it with t3 and this is io io uh, for lda t4 for add t4 for subtraction t4 this is t4 has been shorted with 3 and get LDA add subtract and AI and this AI will be activated on for LDA T5 state for add T6 for subtract T6 so AI for LDA it is T5 for add or subtract it is coming from the T6 
and this is bi bi is for bi is activated on add instruction at t6 uh, t5 stage sub instruction for t5 these two so bi t5 add and subtract this is eo eo is activated on t6 stage for add and subtract su subtract active uh, subtract instruction will be activated on t6 stage and t is out at a sub instruction and this is oi and ao this will be activated on out and t4 state so this was our controller sequence with 60 states now come to the 5t states method <coughs> if you have take a look on our phase cycle you can see that this t2 states uh, are in t2 states it's actually one thing is doing incrementing the value of our program counter so if we make our t2 combining t2 and t3 so it will be a reduce of one state so we can reduce this and nothing will uh, nothing bad will happen to our project or our program so we have made our t2 with uh, t2 and t3 and all these things will jump to one state so what is our five states method this is five zero two four zero one two three four and when the counter will give five i mean one zero one the counter will automatically reset its value this is opcode <coughs> and all connection is coming in from there co will be activated on t1 state mi will be activated on t1 l for ld it will activated on <coughs> t3 states for sub t3 for add also t3 and what is this this is co co is activating on t2 states directly connecting in t2 and ro ro is will be activated on t2 states that as we have uh, squeezed these states ro and i will be activated on t3 states all these things will be jumped one step ro will be activated t2 for lda t4 for add also t4 for subtract also t4 ii i will be activated on t2 states io io will be activated here you can see for add it is t3 it will be t4 it will be t3 for sub it will be t3 so we have connected them like this for LDA T3 sub add T3 sub T3 what is this AI this AI will be AI will be connected for LDA T4 for add T5 for sub T5 so take a look AO T5 load add sub so then BI BI will be activated on uh, add t4 not t5 sub t5 t4 so this is for uh, for add and subtract it's opening on t connected with t4 <coughs> and eo eo will be activated on t5 state and here you can see it is on t6 state we have to jump one state t6 t5 so t5 uh, add and sub and this is our ACU AC will be activated on T5 states T5 and sub and this is OI and AO it will be activated with out and T3 state as it is in T4 states and so another thing we have developed we are able to make T4 state we are able to make T4 states reduce two states because our Control in uh, we have used a, we have used a counter in our controller sequence, as I have already told you that our counter is negative S triggered, so we were able to reduce another states. So our reduce states is <laughs> our new T one will be T one plus T three. We are doing in the first cycle first phase cycle. T1 and T3 are doing the same 
and then C2 will be uh, T2 will be T2 plus T4 T, T3 will be T3 plus T5 from 0 to here and like this I uh, let me show you how we have built a function uh, programmed it this is the counter two inputs are coming from two inputs we can get 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so mean four states so 0 1 2 3 <coughs> for halt it's coming directly for co it's coming from t1 states for mi mi will be activated on t5 states for load it will be connected with t2 states uh, add and subtraction same t2 ce ce is coming from t2 states and this ro ro will be coming from t1 state as we have shorted our these two cycle t1 and t3 ro and iei will be also be activated on first cycle ro and for lda is coming from t3 t t1 t2 t3 t3 for add also t3 for subtract also t3 ii is coming from t1 state this is io io will be activated on as it is in t4 i have told you it will be on t2 states two steps jump io is connected in t2 states for lda add and subtract ai ai will be activated on for LDA it will be on T3 for add it will be on T4 for sub it will be on T4 so we have connected this AI with T4 A for LDA uh, T, uh, T4 for LDA uh, T3 for LDA uh, for add it's connected with T4 for subtract also T4 this BI BI will be activated on T3 states for add and subtract EO will be activated on T4 state for add and subtract and this AC will be activated on T4 state for subtract this AO and OI will be activated on out for uh, activated on T4 state for output so that was our controller sequence we are able to improve it uh, if you watch the Ben Eater's 8-bit computer video, you will see that he have uh, he was able to reduce one state. So his states was T5, but as our clock is, uh, the counter is negative S triggered in our controller sequence. So we are able to reduce two states. So that was the total thing.